Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review, Holly Herndon movement. Oh boy. Holly is an experimentalist, a sonic adventurer, an electronic avant-gardist, and a laptopper. And even though this is her debut full-length, her musical adventures far precede the release of, of this project. From studying for her electronic music masters at Mills College, to actually spending quite a bit of time in Europe to immerse herself in techno music culture as a DJ. And all of these experiences translate into some very perplexing soundscapes, eye-widening experimentations, and a few odd dance pieces that when you bunch them all together, they create a pretty bold, short, somewhat disjointed, but pleasing album. This LP is seven tracks long, 36 minutes in total. A few of these seven tracks are about at the one or two minute mark. And the album starts off with maybe what is one of its most abstract pieces, the eight minute song Terminal. The song begins with these waves of white noise disappearing and reappearing in this sort of rhythmic matter. Then it kind of goes from these very slow waves to these fast flutters from the left to right channels. As this progresses, some very fat, deep, dark, subterranean bass tones kind of start rumbling in the background. And then this vocal sample kind of pops up and starts skittering away on this tempo that wasn't completely clear until they had kind of introduced themselves. And the song evolves into just this dark, heavy, electronic epic that is unapologetically digital. As I listen to this piece, I just think of like an ultra-futuristic city where, where nothing is sort of biological or living or breathing. There are a lot of electronic artists out there right now in numerous styles of electronic music that are working so hard to kind of incorporate a lot of acoustic sounds into their compositions or just natural sounding textures. But there's something also to be said about what Holly is doing with her music, which is just sticking to the colder and more calculated side of things, the more robotic side of things. And this is done without wavering as she introduces her own vocals and guest vocals onto some moments with these tracks. It's just that the catch with Holly of introducing vocals into her pieces is that she manipulates them so heavily that they actually become a part of her very digital vocal compositions. This is most notably done on songs like Breathe and Delato, where vocals are taken on both of those tracks and just transformed until they are just glitchy, shells of their former selves. And to me, these are two of the most gripping moments on the entire album. And it's kind of funny considering how the song Breathe really doesn't have anything obviously musical about it. Maybe a few tones kind of ring out here and there, especially toward the end. But what the song is really about is just taking the sound of breathing, just this sound that we live with until the day that we die, and twisting it and bending it with all these layers and reversals and pitch shifts and weird edits and distortions to the point of surrealism, to the point of being unbearably eerie. And on this album, Holly also toys with one of the most appealing things about electronic music in general, that is the dance beat. The track on this LP, Fade, has these very cold house rhythms hanging in the background with a lot of synthetic bass and just synthesizer tones that feel equally electronic. Aside from the groove of the song, which, you know, does kind of get my head bobbing, the only thing that is remotely human about the track is Herndon's vocal, which is kind of prominent in the track. I do actually think she buries it a little bit among the other sounds in the song, and she obscures it a bit too with this very heavy tremolo effect, which makes it difficult to hear what she's saying if she is in fact saying anything. But still, her voice doesn't seem that strong, whether it is because of the mix or just her singing in general. Even though the song is one of the most accessible spots on the album, that is something I do wish was kind of louder on this track. But overall, I love the progression of this track. She definitely knows how to build and continue a song in this style and keep it engaging. The way the groove shifts around the 250 mark is a really nice change. The other main dance-oriented piece on this track are the songs Control 
and movement. Again, with these two pieces together, Holly marries very strange, weird vocal effects with some danceable beats. And these vocals that, that Holly is manipulating, she shifts them into all shapes and sizes throughout this track. Even though there are all these vocals around the track, I feel like they aren't really placed into an interesting pocket within the song. They kind of pop up and, and swirl around the synthesizers and the beat chaotically, as opposed to kind of enhancing what, what they're doing, in my opinion. At this point, I would definitely say that Holly has my attention in terms of just electronic music and experimental music, I would just love to see another release from her in the future with more material and more cohesion, maybe something a little more conceptual, but who knows, that sort of thing may come out naturally if she were to do an album that was twice this album's length. I'm feeling a decent to strong seven on this thing. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Counter Chesta. Anthony Fantano. Holly Herndon. Forever.